Hey everyone, it's me, Deb. This is my entry into Sherry's contest, CL Broadway. Um, it's 12 questions for a fit or me contest. Um, let's see. The first one is stats. Surgery type, date, highest weight, and current weight. I had the Realize lap band, and, or the Realize adjustable band, I should say. Um, I had it on August 27th, 2008. Uh, my highest weight was 3,000. 3,000. <laughs> 300.9 and my current weight is at 236. Um, number two, what words come to mind when you hear the word exercise? Before when I used to hear the word exercise it was like a bad word. Now when I hear it, well a few months ago when I used to hear it that was motivation and my will to keep going. Now when I hear it, it's something that I'm lacking and I need to get back on track of. And um, just a little brief explanation on that. Um, if you've been following my videos since the beginning, you guys know that I've had um, numerous blood clots in my right leg um, from my groin to my, uh, my ankle in the main artery. And I have chronic damage to the artery in my right leg. So my leg swells and um, is very sore very often. So it's I'm not lacking exercise because I'm lazy or I'm letting my surgery do the work for me because you can't do that really with the with the band but um, mainly because I'm just in so much pain lately with my leg and um, I just need to start over and go baby steps again until I work myself back up and I knew this was gonna happen but anyways that's for another video and I will make one on that. Um, let's see, number three, what is your current fitness routine? My current fitness routine has been very lacking, as I said, but um, I want to step that up. Um, I bought my son the Wii for Christmas, but he doesn't know, but I wanted it just as bad as he did. So, um, I was using the, um, doing the Wii Sports a lot, which really helps with your upper body, which I was lacking a lot in my upper body because... Um, I was just stepping most of the time. But I also purchased a gazelle, which I love, and I've been using that, and that um, does your upper body strength as well as your legs. And come here, little cutie. Come here, babies. Hold on, guys. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Look how big he's gotten. Isn't he so cute? Patches, look at the. Patches. Let's look at the camera, baby. Look at him, isn't he so cute? Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, what is your first or next fitness goal? My next goal is, um, prior to surgery, I was doing the 10,000 steps a day. And that took me quite a while to build up to that, but I was making sure I did that. And so I'm going to have to say that my next fitness goal is to get back to those 10,000 steps a day. Because that really made me feel like I accomplished something every day and I really felt good about myself so I would love to get um, get back to that. Um, what is your preferred type of exercise? Uh, I'd have to say walking and that's because I can do it at a certain pace and it's not so strenuous for me and it's not something I dread doing. Um, I used to be the type where I'd want to be at the closest parking spot and my husband still can't adapt to the point where I don't care where we park, I will walk there. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I'd have to say walking is my favorite exercise, and um, I think swimming would be too, but I really haven't gone since, I don't know, probably since last summer was the last time I've, I've gone swimming, so, um, let's see, do you prefer to work at alone or with someone else? I'd have to say both. If I was going to a gym or... Um, something like that, I'd want to go with a friend. But if I'm going to be working out at home, I'd rather do it by myself because I can go at my own pace or do it as long as I want and either watch YouTube or shows or listen to music, do whatever. So I like both. Um, do, you plan, do you plan exercise more than just in your head? No, but I think I need to. I need some kind of membership to a gym and a workout buddy. Um, so I can just dedicate myself and say this is part of my day just like it is going to work or just like it is to take a shower, you know. I need to include that in my day and unfortunately I've had three workout buddies and none of them have 
follow through with our plans. So um, that kind of sucks. Uh, number eight, do you track your workouts you complete? Yes and no. I use my pedometer, which tracks all my steps, but um, I haven't found a way to really track um, my upper body when I work on that or anything like that. So um, yes and no. <laughs> Number nine, how do you measure your progress? Measurements, weight, endurance, strength, muscle size, flexibility, etc. I usually, like I said, I just measure my progress with my pedometer. And I have the Omron pedometer. And it tracks your, your steps. I don't have very many in yet this morning. But it tracks your steps and it also tracks um, your aerobic steps. It tracks your calories burned. It tracks how many miles you've walked or ran, and it attract and it tracks. Um, oh yeah, that's it. And it goes back for a week, and then you can upload it into your computer or onto Walking Spree. So that's what I do. Um, number ten. What motivates you to move? <laughs> I get motivated when I see videos like Janie's or Virginia's or. Um, Queen Q, Q Queen or Queen Q24 or something like that. Those are the three people that really motivate me. But like I said, I've been in so much um, pain and discomfort with my with my legs and stuff that even when I am motivated, it only lasts for a few minutes. And I really want to um, step that up a bit. And I'm going to talk to my doctor to see if there's... Um, something I can do. I don't take any pain meds or anything like that. I just deal with it. So um, maybe I need to do something else, or maybe there's something out there that can help me. I don't know. Um, number eleven. How has your fitness changed? How has your fitness changed since surgery, or from past efforts? Um, like I said, it's gotten it's decreased because before surgery, I was working out every day. I was getting my ten thousand steps in every day, and um, even shortly after surgery, but um, as I explained before, I knew, and this is why I needed the surgery, because I can't be consistent at it. I need to take breaks in between, so um, I need to find something that, that I can do even when my leg is in pain, and stepping and walking is not one of them. Um, Number 12, do you plan to continue exercise after you achieve your goal weight? Yes, absolutely. I um, plan to, and I, and I will. And I think that sums up all my questions, and i got to go because the phone is ringing. But I'm going to make another video to explain more about my exercising. So I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Bye.